I use Yang's modulus and point generation. These two. These two. Good enough to give description of the linear part. No matter, that means no matter how large the force is, the software for your instruction always conduct linear analysis. Sometimes you confuse, okay, I know one of the students choose the perception what? One meter this side, three meter that side, that's cross section dimension. Yes, you can, no problem. But the software will follow your instruction, conduct linear elastic analysis. So when you find this lecture is a one and a half meter, it does not make sense. It's non linear behavior because your definition did not mention, did not mention the non linear part. You don't let the software know the non-linear behavior of the material. You told, you told by, through, by this Young's modulus perceptualization, that's always linear. So no matter how large the deflection, non-linear, uh, linear, always linear. Okay, I give this. I use the metric unit system. From a reference book, I learned that is a 200 get Pascal. 200 get Pascal. But that means 200 times k raised to power 9, correct? That is a pop. Pop. Pascal. The Pascal is what? Pascal is Newton per meter squared. Here, I, the unit of less is a mirror, but I use millimeter. So I have to change it. 200 10 to power 9. Newton. Newton over Newton over millimeter squared. Conversion. Conversion is 10 to the power 6. So I get what? I get 200. I get Young's modulus expressed 200,000 Newton per millimeter squared. Okay? So instead of input that, I will input that in the software. Point 3. Mu range from 0 to 0.5. Point 0.5 point is corresponding to elastic, super elastic material. Rubber, for example. So I need this two information. Geometry, constraint, concentrated force. Okay. First of all, due to the external loading, the member will deflect like that. Will deflect like that. You know the maximum deflection. Here is the maximum deflection. First. Okay. This is the maximum deflection. And I ask for maximum stress. Because deflection is related to stiffness. Stress related to strength of material. So where is the maximum stress? You have to decide that. It is on the fixed end. Why? Because, look at, due to the bending, maximum stress is uh, bending moment. That's point of interest from the neutral axis. Here, this is a neutral axis. So this side is steep. From neutral axis to the out fiber, that is steep. See, of course. Of course, it's 10 millimeter. This C is constant anywhere from a fixed end to a free end. Always 10, correct? So, over the bending moment, moment of inertia, bending moment of inertia, is I constant? From a left end to the right end, I constant? Mm -hmm. Yes, that is a rectangular cross section. So, it's constant. And it equals m 
This is always constant. 10 millimeter. And the moment of inertia for this rectangle cross section is 10 millimeter and 20 millimeter cube. Make sense? Mm -hmm. So you want this to be maximum. What do you say about the bending moment? Bending moment should be maximum. You can get maximum stress, correct? This should be maximum. Where is the maximum bending moment? At this point, correct? Let's say at point A, this point B. At point A, bending moment is the force times the length. At the middle point, that's the force times 1,000 millimeter. At the fixed end, bending moment is F times 2,000 millimeter. Reach maximum, correct? This is the Henry Newton. So bending moment reach maximum at the fixed end. Use that maximum bending moment to the bend maximum normal stress. Along which direction? This normal stress along which direction? You have a cross-section here. Here's a cross-section. You have bending moment. You have bending moment. And point A. What is, what is the direction of the normal stress due to the bending? This is X, this is the Y, right hand and roll, this is Z, point onward. What's the direction of the maximum normal? X, yes. Okay, so I will say along X direction, I use circle. This is the maximum stress along x direction. And the deflection, this is the maximum stress. Let's calculate that. Can you calculate the animal map, maximum the animal map? Mm -hmm. Easy. So I give that based on my calculation that 300 Newton per meter squared. This is the maximum normal stress. That's a hand calculation. Next, I need to take the deflection. Deflection over here. The deflection. Where is the maximum deflection from the table for this cantilever? Where is the maximum deflection? At point B. At point B, correct. Along which direction? Along the Y direction. Y direction, correct. No matter positive or negative. So I use a Y circle. This, I'm going to check the deflection of a Y. After obtain the solution from the FEM model. Maximum deflection, you have formula for calculate deflection in this case, right? There is a formula for calculate PL cubed three times E, whatever. That formula, right? Use negative means downward, okay? That is. Look at this formula. P equal 100, correct? L is 2,000 millimeter. This is the Earth's module. This is the moment of inertia. Bending moment of inertia. You have all values of each of these variables. Correct? So can you calculate deflection? Maximum deflection? Yes, of course. That is 200 millimeter. So I'm going to work on FEA, uh, on ANSYS, and get these two data. Maximum deflection, maximum stress. Okay.